It's day three PDAC 2023, and today we're with Joel Freudman from True Precious Metals. How are you? I'm doing well, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Now, this is a story we've all been following, first of all, because it's gold, and it's second of all, because of closeology. So tell us what's happening with True Precious Metals right now. Uh, we've just come off a very interesting set of discoveries on our project in January, firmed up, in fact, discovered a new high-grade gold zone through channel sampling. So that's basically a pretty high degree of confidence, finding quite a bit of high-grade gold on the project. And then just a bit northeast of that on our Golden Rose project, we also firmed up a, a high probability copper target as well. So we've got an interesting critical minerals angle to this Golden Rose project that was initially supposed to be gold only. So it's pretty exciting news heading into the field season. Of course, in addition to that, we've been seeing, you just added someone new to your board, very impressive background and another core management team player. Would you like to talk about the talent that you are attracting to your team? We're very fortunate to continue attracting good people to the team because team is key. You need a great asset, but also a good team to work it. We added Manish Kshatriya to our board. He's an accountant. Uh, he has a strong background in both in mining uh, and flow through financing, as well as in general business development. So a great person to come on as chair of the board. And several months before that, we had added a new VP of exploration, Paul Tenier. He's worked at the TSX before. He's worked with producing companies, run exploration programs. We're very fortunate to have a really good team working a very good property. Okay, so what are you? What are your goals here at PDAC 2023? You know, interestingly, we debate each year, like, should we, you know, what's the value of PDAC? And I think it really is you get so many mining professionals in one place, interesting meetings are bound to occur by chance, but we don't, also, we don't kind of let chance guide our future. We've also made it a, a, a point to get a lot of people through our booth. And so we've had a number of senior producers uh, and large companies, as well as financiers, come through the booth to do technical due diligence reviews of our project, as well as generally get to meet more of the management team. And that's the kind of M&A precursor we're looking to set up, as well as financing precursor at PDAC. And so I think we've already been quite successful in that and looking forward to closing out the conference on a strong note. And speaking of a strong note, what do you have planned for the next quarter or two for shareholders? Uh, we're going to get off to a blistering start for the exploration season. That's no surprise to anyone who knows us. We don't like to sit idly by. Uh, we're going to do some structural mapping and trenching on these two main pro uh, targets on our project. So that would be the gold, the gold area, Mark's Pond, Copper area, Jacob's Pond, to really give ourselves a very good understanding of how things are shaping up and then later in the summer look to drill both of those targets to ideally continue getting hits of gold and copper respectively underneath the surface. Well, Joel, thank you so much for the update. And that's Joel Freudman from True Precious Metals. For more information, go to their website.